Hey guys, Brad Scott here with bradscottvisuals.com. Uh, I just picked up the, can, uh, the uh, Panasonic GH4 and I want to show you guys how to do time lapses with them and I figure what a better place to test it out than the Grand Canyon. So we're here um, stopping at each point doing time lapses. We're here at Hermit, is it Hermit Point? Mm -hmm. um, can't really even talk right now, it's beautiful. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Um, so we'll show you how to set it up. I'm just going to set the tripod up. First thing you need is a nice sturdy tripod. Uh, I got the Manfrotto sticks and then I have the 701 HDV video head so I can do smooth pans and stuff. Um, but yeah, let me get set up and I'll show you the settings on the GH4. Alright guys, so I'm running the Panasonic GH4 with the Olympus uh, Mzuko 12mm f 2.0 lens. Uh, this is a nice wide angle lens for the micro four thirds sensor. Uh, this is about the equivalent to right around a 24 millimeter lens on a full frame uh, camera like the the Canon 6D or 5D Mark III. Um, the Grand Canyon's so big that you're gonna want a lens that's pretty much as wide as you can possibly go to capture the vastness of it. So, um, as far as settings for time lapse goes, I've got my uh, my exposure at uh, f18, uh, 40 second, uh, one fortieth of a second shutter speed. Uh, my ISO is at 200, and then what you want to do is let me just focus real fast. Okay, so on this dial here, the drive mode, you want to set it for time lapse. Okay. And then you're going to go into the menu system, press menu, and you're going to go to um, time lapse animation. You want a time lapse shot, starting time now. You can set this for a later time if you want. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to change this to five second exposures because the clouds aren't really moving that fast. And then I want to do 500 frames, okay? Um, so I just hit set on that, hold the shutter button down halfway, and now all we do is we're gonna start, start shooting. So press the shutter down all the way, and it's gonna shoot every five seconds now, okay? So when the time lapse is finished, uh, I'll show you guys how to actually create the time lapse in the camera. Super cool feature that Panasonic has built in. Uh, most of the time with like Canon cameras, um, you have to actually go and make the time lapse in post and it takes a long time. Lots of editing, so this saves you a ton of time. Um, a nice little feature. So this is what we're looking at though. The light actually just got a little better. Uh, it's been pretty overcast this week here, so. Pretty amazing scene. And then we're gonna go stop at different spots along the rim trail of the Grand Canyon and uh, kind of get different perspectives of each one. But if you've never been to the Grand Canyon, you have to check this place out. This is my first time being here and it's blowing my mind. It's just, you can't even fathom how big it is until you see it uh, for yourself. Like my photos or video or anything just don't do it justice. I try my hardest to kind of like give you the vibe that I'm feeling right now, but it's just incredible. Pretty amazing, huh, baby? Very amazing. This is pretty incredible too, being, <laughs> being here with this girl. I love it out here. Can't beat that. We slept in the car in the back of my Subaru Forester, <laughs> and it's really comfortable. Like, we could stretch out all the way. So if any of you, um, 
Mopeled. Uh, yeah, if any of you guys are looking to just do it, a uh, nice economy e travel, economy travel <laughs> just get out there. Don't worry about hotels. Put a nice little mattress in your back of your car and just go like sleep in a parking lot somewhere. That's what we did. Super comfortable and uh, you wake up nice and early, get the good light and it's good to go. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to um, make the time lapse right after it's done. We got about uh, probably 30 minutes here or so, okay. Okay, so when your video is all done, it's gonna ask you if you wanna create the video now. And you just click yes. And then record quality, 4K at 30 frames a second. Frame rate, 30 frames a second. Sequence, normal. Uh, sequence, you can reverse it, so it's going backwards, but I just wanna leave it at normal. So you press OK. Uh, create time lapse, seven minutes proceed, click yes and then it's gonna create your video. I found that it's usually a lot less time than seven minutes. You can see it's moving really fast. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed the view and learned a little bit in this video. If you have any questions, just make sure you comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, look out for more uh, GH4 videos, Canon videos, um, all kinds of tutorials coming up as well as look out for my time-lapse work and slow motion stuff. See you guys.